I'm in Key West, Florida. My gig is done. I have packed up my suitcase. I've packed up my guitars. I've packed up all the sound gear and was, it's all loaded in the truck. We stopped by the Full Moon Saloon to say goodbye to our bartender who always gives us deep discounts and for which we are extremely grateful. I walk into the yeah. Full Moon Saloon and the bartender says, Jimmy Buffett's looking for you. I said, am I in trouble? Said I don't I don't know the answer to that. I said okay. Well, what are we supposed to do? He said, meet him at Louis. So I get in the car, drive to Louis' backyard. I go to the bar. My friend Alain Majo is behind the bar, and I order my drink. The lady that was singing with us, Elaine Culpepper, was with me, and we're standing at the bar. And then one of uh, our friends that worked for Jimmy came over and said, "Don't bring a crowd, but show up next door." Okay. So we walk in through the gate there beside Louis and Jimmy's standing there and he came over and he shook my hand, gave me a hug. You know, he says, You got any guitars with you? I said, Yeah, they're out in the car. He goes, Go get them. So I go out in the car and I get my guitars. I come back and we walk back into the place beside Louis. It used to be Jimmy's apartment. It was where the A1A mm-hmm. album cover mm-hmm. hammock picture was shot. If you go there and you will. And you're standing there at Louis. Look around the fence there on the left-hand side, and there's a palm tree that's slung way low like that by the water. And there's this guy standing over there. I'm standing there talking to Jimmy, and I, I keep looking at this guy. The moon is full, and he's kind of a silhouette. And I'm thinking, I know, I know that person. I know that person. So we're chatting, we're chatting. He finally says, I want you to meet a friend of mine. And he goes, Dan, come here. Oh, shit. <coughs> Swear to God, this is the truth. I was floored because I'd been a Dan Fogelberg fan like you for so many, so many years. We went over on the other side of Louis, which was Jimmy's current apartment upstairs, and went in there. And they he slid open the sliding glass doors, and we sat out on the deck and played music all night long. Me and Jimmy Buffett, Dan Fogelberg, Elaine Culpepper. And we had a couple of witnesses that, that we had managed to talk into bringing booze up. And because they brought gifts, they came bearing gifts, they were allowed to stay. Uh-huh. <laughs> wasn't my rule, it wasn't my house. So anyway, at some point during the evening, Fogelberg and I were talking. And I said, you know, if, if I ever get to do a record, I would love to have you come and play lead guitar. And he said, you know what, you're the first person that ever asked me to play lead guitar on anything. And I said, you're shitting me. I know all those records, and you played guitar on all of that. And he goes, I know. It's what a, I'm chopped liver or something. Nobody ever asked. I said, well, look, I, I want you to. There was a song that I'd been doing, and I had worn my LP out trying to figure mm-hmm. the, the ending lick for this song. And I said, and I told him that. I said, now I've been playing this song. And he goes, play it for me. And I went, no way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you want me no. to play a Dan Fogelberg song in front of Dan Fogelberg? I don't think so. And so he promptly called me some names and, and humiliated me until the point where I could not refuse. And, and I said, but I don't know the end lick. He said, oh, I'll teach it to you.